This referendum will be a way to really not only serve our students today, but in the future. Three years ago, we set out to find out what we needed in all of our buildings, to create a plan, to, to realize that we have to do something because our last facilities referendum that was passed was in 1995. 25 years ago was the last time our community passed a referendum for facilities. Our average age of our buildings is 70 years old. I would say we learned a lot from the first referendum. We took what the community said. Uh, they, we were very close, it was narrowly rejected, but we took what they said in that referendum and tried to come up with a, a plan that addressed the issues that they, they had. Uh, there was a lot of concern that it wasn't big enough, that it didn't touch enough uh, of the school all at once. So we, we took that and we developed a plan that encompassed the entire district all in a single shot. We felt it was important to engage our community as soon as possible. And so what we did is we reflected, we listened, we had board engagement sessions, and we had four community engagement sessions with over 300 people attending. Those meetings were critical for our understanding, our learning, for receiving feedback, for the development of our survey, and, and the community engagement sessions really led to us selecting two pathways and ultimately the plan that we have today. We really turned to the community in every way that we could. Um, we had more responses to our survey this time with more information provided to us. And really, the community listening sessions were incredible. We could not believe the turnout and we got so much feedback uh, from everyone that came out at those times so that we could develop something that the entire community was behind. Um, and I'm really excited about that.